Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. We're going to check out this game that just came out called Arcade Spirits. It's like a visual novel um, type of game. It's like a fiction type of uh, story. So here we go. I'll just turn up my volume just a tad bit. Let's go ahead and... I don't know why I picked the credits. Come on. Let's start the game. Why don't we? So it's it's kind of like uh, based in the 80s, actually. Arcade themed. Seems pretty cool. I wanted to go ahead and check it out. So here we go. We're going to make our custom character when we start. Database system online, new profile. All right, lower middle, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's proceed. Let's create our character. Hope should be rewarded. Spirit must be reserved, stored. All right, so. Airy Cater. I like that. <laughs> uh, a he. Let's do the hairstyle I want. Let's do short. Skin tone. Right there. Hair color is fine. Let's do that. Clothing color. Eh, I guess. I guess we're good. We're good with that. You know what I mean? Yes, that's correct. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. So there's like dating and other stuff in this game. So it's slow paced. It's more of like a narration. Um, you see right here, to work of fiction, blah, blah, blah. You're going to be in an arcade. Uh, seems pretty cool. I was like, you know what? Let's let's check it out. Winners don't you? Oh, look, that's a nice little callback. Arcade spirits. Put your quarter up, level one. All right, let's see what's going on. Future year 20XX, dark era in which mankind is pushed to the brink of catastrophe. Woe be to the human race, plagued by evil, terrifying, utterly sinister. Uh, I don't know. Robots, maybe? Evil robots? How's that work? Yeah, no, sorry. A future year 20XX is pretty much what you expect it to be. Non-flying cars, smartphones, pro gamers, kind of like what it is now. Internet trolls, personal assistant AI... Cheese flavored snack food, so not any more different, right? All right. Worked as a dishwasher, a shoe salesperson, lifeguard for a community pool. Don't care what area of human history you live in, kitties. Peeing in the pool is pretty much a constant thing. Trust me on this. It's for the bustling metropolis of a 24 hour neon utopia you see here. My little corner of it isn't as nearly as shiny and cool. Let me show you. Behold, my quaint little apartment. Can't complain, really. It's paradise. In relative sense, I can only pay half the rent. Neighborhood stabbings have been down this year. Also, my roomie picks up any stray socks or shirts I leave lying around. In fact, as things go, I'm living large compared to most of my family tree. Or at least I was before today. You got fired from another job? Oh, no. Seriously, seriously, Ari. That's three jobs since we left the suburbs. Is this my roommate? Juniper is the one who spearheaded this effort to co-rent an apartment. It's not the one who encourages me when I really lose a job like you know today. I don't get why you aren't more upset about this. I'm upset. I'm upset on your behalf. Come on, share the load a little, okay? Pulls closed, Juniper. Not much I can do about that. Why get upset? Because you actually enjoyed that job. More than you enjoyed dishwashing soap and smelly socks at the very least. I'm not the complaining sort. These things just happen. Things fall apart. The center does not hold. It's a bit morbidly poetic, isn't it? No, I mean the community center literally fell apart and the pool won't hold water anymore. Whatever, I'll just get another job. Any job will do as long as we can make the rent, right? Wrong. I saw how mopey and tired you were. Coming home every night from those other crappy jobs. At least when you got back from the pool each day, I sometimes caught you smiling. What's the point of us moving away from home if not to get away from all, all of that? I mean, we both left that town so we could try to find happiness, right? I just want us to be happy, both of us. I thought you hated your job. No deflecting. This is about you. My mind's made up. We're going to find you a job that's just as good, if not better, than that lifeguarding job. Let's start from the job. What's your dream? The top. What's your dream? Well, I'm standing in front of class to give a speech, and I forgot to put my pants in. Your dream job. Oh. I don't know, Juniper. I've never really given any serious thought. I think I got just the thing to help you out. Pulls out her phone, rapidly tapping an unlock code on the glass before pointing out a little pink icon. Virtual Life Coach app. Mine keeps me from being late to meetings. Totally free, too. Cousin introduced it to me. Wouldn't he the guy who ended up in the ER after making a homemade flamethrower? 
It would have worked if he got the fuel mixture in his water gun, right? He was upset and copy you now. I got a pop up an hour ago offering me 500 points just for recommending it to a friend. Great timing, huh? As long as you're earning points, I guess. At least give it a try, okay? Maybe it can point you at some good jobs. One with less socks and more urine. So it is a visual novel. It's lots of reading. In case you guys haven't figured it out. All right. Installed the app. Couldn't bear to see Juniper fretting over me like that. Not that I find it annoying. I mean, it's more than... More that she has enough trouble in her life without troubling herself over my life, too. Both had it rough up to through the point where we left home to try and start a new life. Better one, she deserves better than me and my problems. Bless her heart, she means well. She's been firmly in my corner all my life, the two of us against any dark forces aligned against me. But that's not to say she's good at being my advocate. Enthusiastic, yes, but skilled, nope. Typically, the fantastic opportunities and self-help resources she sends my way are pyramid schemes or something. She's gung-ho about lending me a helping hand, but yeah. Major went ahead and saw the app was to make sure Jennifer wasn't about to get her kidney sold on black market or something. Still no sense messing around with it now. Good night's rest would act as a neat little emotional reset button, right? Right? Alright. So, intro of the story. So, unemployed with my roommate. Sherry left to catch a bus to her office. She typically leaves before dawn. She left a note for me pinned to the tiny fridge. Download app, find dream job, make money. Sort your life out, I believe in you. Moment of truth. Do I trust in her weird little app or just go find some job that pays well enough? Let's uh, let's give the weird little app a shot. Figuring at the very least, a miracle app could possibly help me find a job. I load up, tap icon, and... Hello! Oh, look at this. Huh? So I mean, anybody else would freak out over a cute girl coming out of the phone? Me, I went, huh? It's one of those kind of new kind of 3D skins screens, so you know. Not actually a match realism here. Very normal in the distant future year. Thank you for downloading Irish, your personal life coach. It's an ad-supported free version sponsored by Pizza Yums. You know, you can have your pizza on a bagel. You can have pizza anytime. Would you like to subscribe to Pizza Facts? Okay, fine. Here to get you your dream job, your dream house, your dream partner. Here to make all your dreams come true. pre tall order for an app to do or you start aside some sort of which grand genie? Sorry. <laughs> Trying to read and talk and be entertaining at the same time. Kind of difficult. Surprise in the modern parlance, a massively interconnected database search and virtual assistant could be considered a kind of a genie in a bottle. But honestly, all I can do is give you the chance to improve your life. What you do with it is up to you. I can cross-reference search data for you, but without motivation, you won't get anywhere. You can't from a phone at the heaps of laundry and half-finished books, other items strewn about my apartment. Motivation is something I have a ton of. Honest. Super. I'm really looking forward to working with you. Before we begin, do you have any questions? Why should I use this app at all? I mean, my phone already has a voice-activated assistant. Just say, hey, phone, search the web for job listens, and it worked just as well. Ah, but I have an advanced emotional language interpreter. I'm smarter than the average program with more heart. I can help you sort out for your life by analyzing your personality and finding a perfect path in life. All thanks to my glorious, wondrous, patent-pended, super-duper, Identity identifier system. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh. Sure, give me the sales pitch. Time you think about saying something I could tag with an identity, and that way you could be the sort of person you want to be. This system allows me to better understand who you are and what you need from life. I do this by analyzing your tone, inflection, and word choice. Spot five different identity. Okay, so there's quirky, steady, kindly, gutsy, basically. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gamify. All right. Hi, jokes. I'm dad. I don't tell... Uh, what's a dad joke? Here we go. Seriously, seriously? Hey, I never said I was good at dad jokes. Just that could go for them. So now that you've uh, seen the identity identifiers and location... Action... My God. I'm being dyslexic today. Do you want to see the indicators like that? So you make a more firm decision. Alright, let's be, let's hide them so we can be surprised. So we're going to hide the identifiers so we can be surprised. Achievements, Chivos, 
Track vocal responses from people you meet. Once you get to know some folks, let you know how well you're getting along with them over there. Relationship score is wonderful. So we also tell me the correct responses are to avoid making enemies. All right. So we're going to be interacting. Eventually, once we get past all this. All right. Romance. You can find your soulmate, your dream job in the same place. Rather focus on gainful employment for now. That's fine, too. Uh, I'm open to personality. Let's stay focused. Let's let's go ahead. All right. Authorized social media. So she's analyzing. Dream job. Arrange an interview. Thirty minutes from now. Cash 820 bus. It's nine minutes away. The app, go find a real job. That'd be the safest option. Let's go for the job interview. <laughs> Getting dressed before she finished that sentence. It's not that I believe the silly app's claims that served my hopes and dreams on a square platter. Honestly, I expected another shoe salesman job at best. But well, all right. I thought I hid these. the hell let's do this you get my life in gear so what's the harm in driving to something this wacky could be a lot of harm granted but the alternative is to mope around our apartments for a week then he gads get a job anyway screw it i'm on this one already train let's see how far it goes all right weeks later turns out it was the best impulsive decision i ever made hmm interesting bus drops me off oddly enough not very far from jennifer's office building destination is in very scale as that this is well it's A strip mall. Strip malls are relics of 19xx. Place where a random assortment of weird little businesses jam as many of themselves in a tight of space as possible. I've seen a dentist, a used bookstore, arcade, fast food joint, board up house spa. Two things nobody should ever combine lattes and anemas. That's funny. This is exactly what I'm looking at. I don't know anything about oral hygiene or old books. The one in the middle, the arcade. Nice. So my dream job's the arcade. Big business, entertainment sector, pro gamers are celebs. Five star arcades are social hotspots. Who's been popular with the mainstream? Restaurants are popular too. All right, arcade competition. Paydays range from peanuts to gold. So much talking. Let's get some action. Like like the most fun that I had so far was answering the two questions that I did like I I get it it it's I I know this is a visual novel it's reading and stuff I just you know I'm ready for some action I'm ready to make some 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 questions and, and some actions that that change the pace of what I'm doing like I think all this could have been done in a more uh active way but I get it it's about the video game crash See, so this is where the game was delayed until it could be developed properly. Crash was averted. The crisis only exists in theory now. So this is like an alternative timeline where the video game crash didn't happen. It's kind of interesting if you think about it. No mistake, as popular as they are, the arcade industry is a dodgy, risky prospect for a job. Play make a run at it, only come up short. Consider I was tasked with getting me a job I'd enjoy. Could keep for more than a few months. This left me a bit confused. This isn't me saying no, it's an interest prospect, but I mean, are you sure about this? You say you're 99% sure. 99.97% sure. Won't this be like my lifeguard job, though? Satisfying but short-lived. The arcade doesn't exactly look like a five-star. It's no Deku's Palace for sure. To be perfectly honest, I haven't stepped foot inside our arcade in uh, 15 years. I remember really enjoying arcades when I was a kid. I don't know why I stopped going to them. Iris interrupts that thought, eager to show off her homework. Trust me. I said I was 99.97 for sure I meant it. That's not some arbitrary arm or number. I'm designed to be a bit silly, whimsical, but my math is deadly serious. 
Coders, blah, blah, blah. Come on, get inside the arcade already. All right, family curse. Always had to compromise, settle. Always have to be ready for the worst. It's blah, blah, yada, yada. Come on. All right. Air conditioning should be like a cool breeze. I'll be at one smell of copper and corn chips. It's early in the morning on a weekday. It's not too packed with gamers. It's so packed with games. I probably have a hard time finding anyone anyway. Once struck by suck. Oh, God. I actually recognize one of these games. Neat. Considering I haven't walked into our kid in over a decade, that's probably not great. Lots of vintage stuff from here from the looks of it, like really old. Although I don't recognize a game with the stage lights and things. Maybe it's karaoke or dancing. A Showtime stage. A collaboration of Nihina, Heavy Industry Concern, and Hubris Records in Germany. Alright. Are we meeting somebody? Do I get to interact for once? Or am I just going to sit here and talk about the games? There we go. Alright. Taught myself how to overrun my urge to complete my sentences. She reserved me calling her old. She looks up from her knitting, seating behind the ticket redemption desk, offers a wrinkly smile. Always nice to meet somebody in the funplex. Francine's Arcade Funplex. Didn't you see the sign out front there? Knock out the first two words when they got knocked off the building during the storm. Now it's the funplex. Okay, funplex. Is that when you suplex a clown? Genie, my phone set up. You've been in business for... Here we go. Tang wasn't allowed for that, but I heard it was pretty awful. Endured many a Norster around these parts. Get used to it. My lower arcade stood the test of time and weathered all elements. Actually been around since 1970X. Back when the games were black, white, and pinball. It was all the rage. You're looking for work, perchance? Currently classified as job seeking, yes. Hoping somebody would reply to that ad I posted on the webs. Call me Francine. I suppose we were originally Frederick's Arcade Funplex, named after my dear departed husband. Sadly, he died peacefully in bed some years ago. Don't be, he died doing what he loved. Having intensely physical relations with me. Jesus. Eric Cater, ma'am. Very well. Shall we retire to the office? In your interview, I'd carry on out here, but it's noisy and isn't it? All right. So here we go. We're going to read and discuss the interview all right let's go back in the hallway past public bathrooms into a door marked employees only takes almost straight out to point out the extraneous apostrophe little backstage oasis have a seat and begin Is there, new, is there no music in this game? No no sounds? That's uh, kind of strange. You would think there would be sound effects or music. It's awfully quiet. Let's do pterodactyl. So she asked what kind of dinosaur I want to be. Flying bird, pterodactyl, swooping around, catching up drafts. Way, way from meteors. Pterodactyls aren't dinosaurs. What's your favorite snack? All right, tacos, always tacos, but snacks, pizza, bagels, say pizza, bagels. When pizza's on a bagel, you can have, hush you, come on, dear, I don't have all day. How can I forget my favorite snack? Let's say, let's say tacos. No other sustenance. You can see you're a person that knows exactly what they want, how to get it. Let's say you are what you eat. Next question. What assets can you bring the team during the inevitable inevitable zombie apocalypse? Uh, engineering, medical. Uh, let's say engineering. Essentially, MacGyver, I can make anything out of a string, a match, and a screwdriver. So if what you want is a screwdriver wrapped in a burning string. We need someone to build makeshift defenses, and I think quickly in case we get surrounded. And inventive brain is always a critical role in any survival. One more thing. Why are you here? Question so simple and almost actually relevant to career planning takes me off guard. 
told you, I came about the job offer. Seeing a job true, but that doesn't really answer my question, does it? No doubt you think my interview questions are a bit silly, but I like to think that a funplex is more than a collection of tasks and people will perform those tasks. Blah, blah, blah. Come on. Something more than a way to make a large pile of quarters. Expect you'll find others working here see it as something more too. Everyone has a dream of chasing dairy, and for my friends, it lies within the funplex. Now, if all you want is a paycheck, I can provide that. The last fellow in your position, that's all he wanted, didn't last long. So I ask again, why are you here? Oh my god! <laughs> like, why does it drag on? Okay, goddamn. I'm not trying to be impatient, but I'm getting tired of hearing myself talk. There's no music in this game, no sound effects. Let's do if I don't dare take risk. I feel like my life's been in a rut for over a decade. Now I don't mind. Here we go for the flow. Blah, blah, blah. I'm, I have to read these out loud because it's like, I don't know. If I just sit here quiet and you take a risk, try something totally new. You've always been pushing me to find a job that's more than a job, just like you're saying. Is this my, just job my dream? I don't know. I have to try. I have to take the gamble or I'll never get anywhere. Not to say I'm overly impulsive. Worked as a lifeguard recently. You have to be sharp and ready to act with a cool head. I can do that for your funplex too. Perks your attention. A rather serious occupation that. Unusual step from such troubled waters to land of make-believe. For this role as a lifeguard, I take it. My says she often noticed me smiling after coming home from work. Makes Francine smile in turn. Can't say I can offer a role with such high stakes, but you'd be surprised in many ways one could save a life even here. Very well, I'm satisfied. Let's get you to work. Maybe easier at that. Probably weirdest job interview I had, to be sure. Yet it felt appropriate, like it was about far more than just filling a slot on the payroll. Francine led me back to the arcade floor and introduced me to my duties. Only occurs to me now that I forgot to exactly ask what duties and mystery job I accepted really involved. Back at the arcade. Seat she was occupying previously is still behind the prize desk. Long when you position, Ari. Sitting here, you mean? Sitting here and helping players redeem tickets for valuable prizes. Glance at the wide array of pencil toppers, rubber spiders, tiny plastic, blah, blah, blah. Such a relief. I've been stretching myself thin lately, trying to fill in since the position was vacated. You don't mind me asking, ma'am, why the last guy who sat here end up quitting? Being bored of his mind, so he felt like jamming one of those 500 ticket plush dolls down someone's throat. Just wasn't cut out for this line of work. Grandson or no, I have no patience for such nonsense. Sorry, the last person to work this desk was your grandson? Oh, I can auto. That's just too auto. My all this talking is tiring me out some. I'll be in the back office if you need me. Okay, then. Just in my seating. Leaning against the desk beneath me, a wide away. Okay, that was a little too fast. <laughs> Having kids obtain toys, that would be nostalgic memories. All right. Any minute now. What's going on now? All right, nothing else. Crave the sweet embrace of death. Been sitting here for two hours now. Nobody's walked up to obtain a novelty fun plaque, sock glass, or a colored pencil set or a light up yo yo. Lunchtime's approaching, and so far, only people walking in and out of the arcade are a few stray adults who have no interest in cheap friendship bracelets. I remember I used to think the prizes sucked. First customer of the day arrives before I start wondering if one of those 500 ticket plushies could really fit down someone's throat. Just walking by me, his head buried in some sort of spreadsheet. Businessman on break. Snappy dresser. Damn, he's hot. That's my kind of guy. I'm going to say snappy. Seems like a cool dude. Content to toss on a shirt and jeans. Not this guy. Even arcade is dressed like a sharp like a linoleum knife. Double him back. Who are you exactly? What are you doing behind that desk? Where's Francine? I'm Arcader. Francine hired me to work the desk. 
interview process was interesting. I would have been sitting here for hours doing nothing because there's nothing to do. It relaxes somewhat on hearing that. More energy slow. That's quite normal, actually. Is she interviewed you already? Good. About time. I was wondering how long she'd have to work the desk. She's got gusto for octogenarian and loves working the floor, but sitting here all day handing out toys and dealing with problems wears her down. She explained the job to you, gave you papers to sign. She said Gavin would handle that stuff. He's Gavin Cooper. All right. So he's the guy that's going to help me. Business manager. Make sure we manage to keep having a business rather than a pile of rapidly collapsing fiscal mistakes. Yes, you'll be exchanging tickets for prizes. At least part of your job. Floor attendant. You have to tend the floor. Floor arcade. The gains of patrons. You run, run around putting out fires and sorting out problems. Your second floor attendant. Ashley will be in later, but we need two. One to roam and one to operate. I do it myself, but I'm typically busy in the back office. Make sure the whole thing doesn't fall to bankruptcy. That's why Francine loved filling in. She's a people person. She loves helping people in a pinch. Okay, so. Say you're alone out here, of course. Pass me his business card. Stack of them ready. Go figure. His number's listed at the bottom. You work a high pressure customer service. Shoe sales. Smelly socks. You have no idea. You know, you keep your head when a customer doesn't, I hope. Anything goes sideways. We'll meet him soon enough. Do not bug Francine. She's practically retired. Comprendo. All right. We'll get along swimmingly. Okay. Sounds good. This guy's kind of like a prick at the same time. But kind of cool. It's more than just a job, more than just an arcade. Not addressing words like to speak plain if I'm curt. It's because optimization is a factor of my job. Everybody working here wants to work here. This is where they belong for one reason or another. Love chaos, love wrangling chaos specifically. Arcade industry is a high risk, high reward. to manage that risk so that others find happiness in their lives. Everybody in this business has a dream they're chasing. It's a fragile thing prone to getting crushed by hard reality. So I to see that it never happens. All right. Last guy I see here burned out hard. Can I trust you to mesh with our merry band? No problem at all. I'm a model employee. Okay, go ahead. Army can likely use a hand in the workshop. Let's go see Naomi. Blunt people. He is kind of blunt, kind of like a prick. Let's go see Naomi. Turn the handle and step inside. All right, we're seeing the next coworker. So this is a little bit more slow pace of a game, guys. Again, it is a visual novel, so you kind of have to... Uh, Oh, okay. She looks cute. So, yeah, with games like this, it does take time. It's more of like practically you reading a book and the choices you make factors into what happens in the story and stuff. You know, it, it doesn't really translate as well to watching somebody else play it unless you're really interested in this stuff. For me, it's more of like a... I'm more into like more action-based games and stuff. I knew going in that this was a visual novel, though. It's just when you're having to just basically sit here and kind of go through the motions, I guess, and the introduction of a game, it takes some time. I mean, we're already a half hour in, and I really haven't made that many decisions or choices to kind of like move the game around. I'm still practically being introduced to people a half hour in when I would like it to go a little bit faster, if that makes any sense. Because I know nobody's going to sit here and, and watch a half-hour video of this, of, of a game that is not interactive. So here we go. 
Let's do the, oh my god, she's so cute. Smile as she wills that little thing onto the bigger thing. Happy and at peace. I can appreciate that joy in one's nerdy passions. No worry, me fair child. The fun place is techie. Pleased to meet you. I was expecting Gavin, though. He usually checks up on me about now. He's busy doing strange things with numbers. Sounds like Gavin. Take it, he sent you to help. Great. Give me a hand with this monitor. It's really happy I'm paranoid about dropping it. Happened last time. She dropped it. All right. So we're lifting the ray tube. Gutting it, putting it in. It's not much it's about how arcade games tick. Keeps working, use a pocket multimeter. Be packed entire like a bar top or a cabinet. American Japanese cabinets are, ours are designed for standing players so they have to be upright. All right. Classic midway style. Look at those sharp angles. Try our decals. Bold font on the marquee. See, I'm even getting tired of reading out loud. That's why I'm sluttering. Stuttering and sluttering over my own words. Sluttering. That's not even a word. All right. Key features. Strip across the top. Game title. Artwork wraps around the monitor. It's a bezel. All right. Box of wood, I think I understand. It was made to be one whole thing. The art, style, and of course the game itself, all part of the same experience. The thing about this game is the game. If you run it in an emulator or a game console, made lesser. Look, I got one point with her. Jerk Gavin running the numbers. What's wrong, Gavin? Uh-oh. Get along with him generally. His whole attitude just... Oh, okay, so we already have... Clashing right here. All he really cares about is money. He keeps our kid running, but I know if he had his way, he'd get the whole place. Maybe he's going to ruin the fun plex. It's him. Mark my words. That doesn't sound right. He seemed easy enough to get it wrong with. And what's more? Gavin gave me a whole speech about protecting their dreams. It's like a sour point here. Long standing argument with the new guy I really shouldn't get involved with. Then I'm involved, aren't I? I have to work with both of them. I do not want to rock the boat. She's dumping workplace gossip on you. That's mean of you. Try to stay cheerful, really, no matter what. Try and succeed are different words. Don't worry about it. Gavin's my problem, not yours. Let's go back to work, shall we? Now for the less fun part. Strong, strapping kind of guy. It's your guy. That's enough. Semi-assaulted. Let's get to it. All right. We're putting the game down. Got to be done with that one. Been working on monitor for ages. These tubes are finicky as heck. Still not totally satisfied to fly back, but thanks for helping me out. You're going to do just great here. Stomach growling, food required, except wasn't expecting to actually be working today. Forgot to pack a lunch. Now I'm just talking here, but if you had pizza on a bagel, shh. Any good restaurants from walking distance? I think that bookstore next door sells donuts and stuff, but no, not really fortunate. Cheap wub sub sandwich. Wub sub. Went back to her hidey hole. <laughs> lunch time. She pressed a box lunch in my hand. It's a bento box. I make making from my mom. We learned from her mom back when they lived in Japan. Rice and pickles, all sorts of good, healthy things. Give me your lunch. Sure, why not? Wow. So she gave me her bento box. Total stranger, gotta be something there, right? Bento box, cute, plenty of calories, armed with a box of health food, retired to employee lounge. So I'm eating lunch now. Interesting. I'm really famished by this point. I have a seat and unpack my loaned lunch. 
What the heck? What in the world was this? It's a wait death. Well, it was a good run. Death by Floopy Monster was definitely not something considering the thousands of ways I picture my own death. Honestly, I thought I'd pass doing something I loved. May the Reaper take me swiftly and... <laughs> wow, it's another girl. I'm Ashley. Pinky the Funplex Flamingo. So there's Gavin, Na Naomi, and Ashley. <laughs> Pinky's the mascot. Way cool if you were just so enamored with the chibi flamingo creature. Could have definitely maneuvered your way through all the games. <laughs> Sliding right up to the employee only door. How'd I get the door code, of course? A piece of paper that fell from Gavin's pocket. She wants me to. She's definitely passionate about the fictional. She's got quite the imagination. Let's do that one. She has lots of imagination. Wonder if she's a writer or something. How'd you snuck out? I wonder. Hmm, I could have helped, but for a price. Or she's been babbling herself for a good couple minutes. Sometimes I get swept up in a good story. Is it really that dull here? Just crave a different kind of excitement other than the beeps and boops. Dreams to fulfill, cosplay to make. She's a cosplayer. Eyes light up and smile. Man, I'm crushing already. He's like, she had the power to stop his heart for a few beats. So she created Pinky? Wow. You wear it around the fun plex to liven up the crowds. It's kind of like Chuck E. Cheese, right? <laughs> Did some repairs on Pinky overnight. I had to restrict the left arm. Do a little test drive to make sure it doesn't fall off. Carl's replacement, new floor attendant. I have met everybody, I guess. Rolls her eyes, let out a sigh. Wish they would hurry up and make out already. Because they're fighting. Gavin and uh, Ashley like each other. Or not Ashley, uh. Who's the other girl? Naomi? Thicker like an old married couple. Classic anime cliche. The ones who fight always end up together. I didn't even get a chance to eat. Shove it all in the mouth. I'll go watch the floor. How about it? Blah, blah, blah. Now rice in the shape of a little heart. I didn't ponder my first. Let's see. So, she's pretty enthusiasm. Total cutie. I'm going to just go with the cutie on everybody. <laughs> Crowd starts to fill out. School's done. Late rising pros are headed out. Our kids of choice. Ash coming to desk. Jobs to wander the floor looking for problems. All right. It's a good moment to collect my thoughts. Up to decent start. My coworkers. Good first impressions at any rate. Corporation is going to be a must. I've had offer coworkers before. And they can really drag your day. 
No time for daydreaming. I think I spot, let's see, three possible issues to look into. Should have time to get to all of them. What should I tackle first? Let's do irate customer, mutant floor attendant, senses detect danger from the left hand side. Quickly rush all 30 feet to the scene of crime. Come on, hurry the something, finish your game. Do you work here? So I'll be behind, ask Gavin for name tag. Ari, stop attending carpets and attend me. I want this to wrap up his game so I could play. Ashley's face obscured beneath her costume mask. Children present, please keep the swearing. We kick this fat piece of off this game. So that guy wants to play and the other guy's playing. Oh, look at this. Heck of a high score. See, I would just let the guy stay on the thing. I'd be like, yo, hey, let this guy play. You can wait patiently. There's plenty of games in the arcade. Throw that thousand dollars in cash, holds it out. Wow. He wants to buy the game. How's Naomi going to react? Well, Gavin wants to sell it. The game was 200, not sure. Let's do the first one. It's part of the, the arcade. You're right, this is Mr. Moopy's home after all. Let's compromise. Thousand American and own the game, but you keep it here. Turn I get to play as long as I want, provide nobody's already playing. Keep chasing the score, but your arcade stays whole. I hate to break up a loving family. Hate to make Naomi cry. Lots of customer. All right, I guess <laughs> that one guy needed to just relax, man. He could have played something else. Oh, digging that dad bod. I'm not gonna do that. The rich can do whatever they want, whatever they want. You have to know what this guy did? He does keep the game. He just wanted to play. Cause of Naomi. Home and a family and games. Maybe it's best I sent the rando out the door in favor of this guy. So you know Naomi? He's happy talking while playing. Funplex regular. My name's Percy. I hazard your new floor attendant. Arcader. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I look forward to getting to know you better. Been playing Moopy all day, huh? What can I say? It's my calling. I actually earned a Moopy cabinet once. Had it in my flat, but playing it by myself all in the dark, it's not the same. Need the atmosphere, the beeps and the boops. Eventually, you learn to filter that out. I mean, the games, the lights, arcade, the kids, feeling being an arcade. Yep, I can feel that too. You know, it's not the same playing at home as it is playing in an arcade. Current world record: three and a half million. This guy's staying here. Morning shift. You must have a solid job, good income, so you can get your mopey dipped in gold. You might comment that's a lot of money you just have on your own person. What do you do for a living? Eh, this and that. He probably deals drugs. He's the head of international diamond smuggling ring. Day trading. Socks and bonds, and you can do if they have a head for the numbers.
All right. So he's just talking about himself. I should leave him be. I have to do a thing about a thing. See, be seeing you, Mr. Cater. All right. What to handle next? Fist of discomfort. A lot of shouting coming from the center of the arcade. All right. Pop our game, staple the scene. Okay, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's see what's going on. It's a cool looking game. Look, <laughs> they're complaining about the hitboxes. Rando Clarissians, that guy's name? That's hilarious. Ultimate technique scroll from my dojo. Rando Claris Calrissian, that's funny. XP technique, blah, blah, blah. So these guys are just getting into the game and being extra loud about it. I've actually gotten in trouble at arcades in the past for being pretty loud as well. Kid, where are you staring at? Never seen a champion of my caliber. Let me begin how to respond to her question. I wonder if I could hit on her too, and not just my. my she's a member of an arcade esports team. Talk about a dominating personality. I feel the urge. To... I know my taste. At Queen Bee's got the whole package. Sass, dirty mouth, keen fashion sense. Oh man, I'm just falling in love with everybody. Quarter up. You work here? Just hired earlier on the new floor attendant. The game eats your quarter, come to me. You're serious. Okay then, welcome aboard this runaway train. You get your name tag yet. How am I supposed to know who you are? I think it's a weird tactic to have me introduce myself to her. I'm Ari. I did technically just start working six hours ago. Might take them time to issue me a name tag. Maybe they sent Carrier Pigeon to an ancient monastery. Gavin's just slacking big time. I'll talk to that silly boy. Make sure you get some proper respect. The voice acting is really low. I can't hear it on my end, but hopefully when you guys watch this video, y'all can hear it. There's slight voice acting. Very low. I thought there would be music too, but... All right. Okay, smart kid. You see one of my many streams on the internet, right? Nope. No idea what you're talking about. Living on the rock the past decade. Sweet child. You're innocent and pure. Show you a path to the darkness that's on the internet. Sure, I'd like to learn more. I mean, farther in the dark abyss, my mistress. Such a weirdo. Plug one of these cabs in the internet. Use a number of clip-on webcams. Personal PC. Streams matches live. So she goes live at the arcade. Interesting. Pretty big tournament coming up, so try to get practice. Even if it's a bunch of fodder. It's chum, lunch meat, scrubs, losers. Got the idea. I'm in the corner right, glance around the arcade. She gives a nod to someone hanging near the street fire cabinet. Crew's starting to trickle in. Should start team practice soon. Gotta go live in five minutes. 
chat later. Towner, keep the swearing down. Keep it PG. Is it wrong of me to crave being stepped on by her? Jesus Christ. God. This guy is such a freaking weirdo. <laughs> I would never want to be stepped on by a girl. Alright, let's see this crowd standing on the show the stage. The game itself takes place a whole corner of the arcade. Dance fever. Oh, look at this. Some little salt and pepper. Couldn't even pass that song. Totes impressive. Keep practicing. One day, maybe even surpass you. One of the dancers one of them brings in new dances and teaches them a play. I ship gyrations. Feel the head bobbling and tapping. Put a hand on my shoulder. Dance with a hottie like you? <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I can't risk to ask a guy such as yourself. You come my eye the moment you walk. Is he hitting on me? You're new here. Yes, very. Name's Mateo. Everyone calls me Tio. Tio's the best, greatest guy around here. Sort of like our leader. It's directly in my eyes. Nothing as special as you. Sir newbies the ropes. Teach him how to play. Wow, he's he's freaking hidden on me. I'm gonna decline. Heck. <laughs> I don't want to play the dance game. I'd fail like in real life. And he's really persistent. He's like, oh, I could teach you. Year zero of the floor attendant. Honor to meet you. Hope we get to know each other well, indeed. Happiness comes from making other people happy. That's all I need in life. All well, good, but I still need to deal with this crowd. How best to handle it? Are oh, you having a ball over here with this crowd blocking the exit? Let's keep a path present. Can't you let it slide just this once for me? If I let it happen once, it's going to happen all the time. I get though. Crew's passionate, and that's a good thing. Staying here on my first day at work would be bad for everyone involved. Can you imagine the headlines? There we go. Hey, listen, we need to keep the area. See, so now he's listening. All right, perfect. Uh, I ain't hitting on Tio though. Work's done. A few hours from closing time. Maybe no sudden her boss at arcade. Stein up. Not a bad first day. Keeping tabs on you. Others have been. You know you should consider getting a proper group chat going. Got a crappy phone. Blah blah. blah. Press how you handle yourself. I think you're gonna work out just fine. Prepare your paperwork if you'd like to go sign it. All my work, all my co workers.
All right, first day over. Nice. With that, let's see what happens next. Birthday party, all of the kids, fifth birthday to be young again, five year olds, ski balls overhead in the glass. <laughs> so we're putting a five year old's birthday. Francine. Wow. So these kids just showed up. That's <laughs> all of a sudden. Well, anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it there. We're almost at nearly an hour on this. I mean, if you're patient, if you like visual novels, if you like to read, this one is slow paced, but I do like the 80s arcade setting and stuff like that. Um, I would like to see further on, maybe live stream this, see how much quicker it gets, see what kind of stuff happens. Obviously, there's going to be dating involved, stuff like this. But anyways, comment down below, guys. Thanks for watching. If you made it through this entire video, I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.